Okay, so the previous playlist I created was on how you can actually connect to your virtual machine. So in this particular series, we'll talk about how you can install packages in your virtual machine. So the first and the easiest way to install packages in your virtual machine is to use the run command. So let's see how we can do that. The first thing I'll do is again, I'll create a virtual machine. Let's click on create. Let's create a new resource group. Okay. And I'll just call this as my VM. And I'll create a Linux Ubuntu virtual machine. And let's click on review and create. Uh, let's also give a password for this particular virtual machine. So let's go down and instead of an SSH key, let's give a username password. So I'll just call this as Azure user. Click on review and create. And let's create this virtual machine. So let's click on create. Okay, so we've installed a virtual machine. So let's go to other resource. And what you need to do is you need to go to your operations and underneath your operations, you'll find the run command. So let's open this. So in Linux, there are two run commands that are available to you. There is the run shell script and there is the if config. So let's open the if config and let's see what happens if you run the if config. So currently you can just run the if config and here you need to give the parameter. So let's try to run this command and let's see what happens. And it gives an error stating that your if config is not present. Now that is because we need to install one package and that is precisely what we'll do. The first thing that we'll do is we'll install the package so that this gets enabled. And after that, again, we'll run this if config command again. So let's do that. Let's go back and let's run this run shell script. And here what we need to do is we need to run the package for if config and the package that you need to run is the net tools. So what I'll do is I'll first install the app install net tools. And after I've done that, I will again run the if config. Now here you can also run other shell script commands like your echo command or your cat command or your touch command. So for this particular example, let's just run this basic app install net tools. Let's click on run. Okay, so we've run this, let's close this and let's run the if config again. At first, at the first instance, we'll run it without an argument and then we'll give an argument and run it again. Let's click on run. So what it will do is it will run this particular command that is the if config command. And this time you can see that it works. Now that's because we had installed it using the run command. And what we'll do this time is we'll just run one of the parameters. So let's copy this and let's put this as one of the arguments and let's run this again. So this argument will be picked up over here and it'll just run the if config eth0. So let's see whether this works. And you can see that it just gives the ETH zero value. So that is how you use your run command. Now you can use this run command to install other packages like your NPN, your HTTPD or your Nginx or any of those packages. So you can just try this out at your end as well. And if you have any issues, please get in touch with me. That's it for this lecture. I will see you in the next.